guy, this is new shit right here. New shit! shit. Move the left shoe a tad bit forward. Tuck your head, roll the shoulder, eyes up, eyes front, chin up as the punches land. Bruising my knuckles, battering my hands. Cold sweat when you wake at night. Arms shaking, arms aching, just reaching and reaching for something just out of sight. Dreaming of the day I can show up with a title belt and say that I beat life itself. Yeah, I know I look tired. I've been fighting for 19 years. The fuck you been up to? I'm at war. I'm that soldier in the foxhole trying to forget the guy next to me who was buried in the same trenches that I'm cowering in. I'm DOA that's not afraid to say so what? I've been dog tagged and body bagged with this boy's Lazarus and just like Jesus I'm coming back. But I got a better response on than that sucker. Yeah, I'm a 5 on a bad hair day waiting in a buck. 50 and I am the champion of my own cause, and my cause is to burn. I'm afraid I'll ignite from the inside out that I'm a ticking time bomb waiting for spontaneous combustion, and until then, I'm just rusting. Nah, nah. Better yet, I'm a Lamborghini. Murcielago, you know? That means bad in Italian. Upside down and topsy turvy, I'm an angry type of fuck me red. I got an engine under my hood that's purring like a Tomcat with nine lives left. There are sandbags under my eyes, building up to protect me from the explosive stares I hand out, laser vision, Superman style. Jumping out of my skin, trying to land my own punches on life itself. I don't think I can stop myself. I can fucking take Muhammad Ali. I can fucking take Cassius Clay. I can tear down that wall with my bare hands, Mr. Gorbachev. Anything you got, I can handle it. Anything you got at all, except this. Hey, oh, when I got this call, I had an echo of his heart attack. If each person's heart beats eight liters of blood through their body, then veins are rivers that course through our hands and mouths and eyes, spouting out truth over the course of a lifetime. We are all oceans. And on that day, my grandpa's ocean had no more waves. While my ocean was a tsunami beating against the shore of my mind, making me ask why bad things happen to good people. What's the first step in that five-step method for coping? Deny, deny, deny. You know, I tried, but I couldn't believe he was gone. We were set to go fishing in a couple months. He was going to teach me how to tie knots, but now I just had knots upon knots tingling me up inside. Grandpa, you were always the one who could untie me. Grandpa, you were always the one there beside me. So I got angry with being wrapped up in myself. I need to get even. I went to the store, I bought a megaphone. The fuck you want with him, God? I'm fighting for him. You know, because I'm not done with you, Grandpa. I'm fucking coming after you. Even after I borrow a stepladder to rebuild the Tower of Babel, I need to get to heaven. I wrote songs and shitty poetry. I raged and I cursed and I spit fire with each verse. And I drank until I thought I was a fish. <sighs> Nothing's all the pain. You know, it was the same refrain pounding into my brain. He's gone. You know, he taught me how to shave. He gave me his grace anatomy and told me he, he believed I could heal anyone. He once told me that you'll miss all the targets you can't shoot at. So I'm going to hold in the moon and I'll scoop out the cheese and eat it raw. I'll kick the man living in there out and construct a memorial to Alan Gray. I'll fill it with good and plenties and chocolate labs and long walks in the summer and fishing and motorcycles and meat. Just some of the things he loved. And I'll whistle when I fight now. He's there. There's a hole right here. You know, it makes me lighter on my feet, though. But now, whenever I look up, my moon's always full.